So let me show you how when you're negotiating, when someone says, I think we're going to get back with you. I want to show you exactly what to say. And you have to tattoo these words on your heart and memorize it and get ready and write it down, okay? So let me walk you through it. Okay, guys, so during negotiating, this is something that really freezes salespeople up. And I'm going to tell you, if you will listen to me, I promise you, this will never be a problem again in your life. But you have to do me a favor. You have to stop what you're doing right now. You have to get a pen and you have to get a piece of paper and you have to write this down. Repetition is the mother of skill. If you want to overcome an objection, your words have to matter. Listen, why did I take the time to write this full objection right here on the board? Look, overcome the objection. I'll get back with you. This is during negotiations. Why did I take the time to write it down? Because it's so important in every single word is about the psychology of selling. Every single word actually maneuvers the customer to get off of the I'll get back with you and pull them back to the deal so you can close it. I want you to understand this. I'll get back with you is not a real objection. It doesn't mean anything. If somebody says I'll get back with you, no matter what you say, it doesn't overcome I'll get back with you. Now, I'll get back with you might mean that there's something else wrong with the deal and we can fix that and that's a real objection and now I can overcome that. But this, the words I'll get back with you mean nothing to me. So let me show you how when you're negotiating, when someone says, I think we're going to get back with you, I want to show you exactly what to say. And you have to tattoo these words on your heart and memorize it and get ready and write it down, okay? So let me walk you through it. So when the customer says, I'm going to get back with you, first thing you say, I don't care how long you've been selling, you say this, look, I've been doing this for a long time. And when someone says that they're going to get back with me, I never see them again. Do you mind if I be direct with you for a second? Are you not, watch this, are you not interested in the deal or are you just being polite and you're not wanting to reject me? The customer is always going to say, no, we are interested in the deal. We're not just trying to be polite, Andy, and not reject you. We are interested in the deal. And you say, great, then let's bottom line this deal. Mr. and Mrs. Customer, is it the payment? Is it the price? Is it the trade? What part about it is it that you're not okay with? Let's bottom line the deal right now. What is it? And they will tell you what the problem is. And now, once you know what the real problem is, guess what you can do? You can solve it. But you cannot solve, I'll get back with you. There is nothing to overcome on I'll get back with you, except for to do what? Be better at overcoming the objection than they are giving objections. They didn't say, Andy, I think the price is too high. No, you know what they said? They gave you a cold. You know what, Andy? I appreciate you. Thank you for everything that you've done. But I think we're going to get back with you. Uh-uh. We're not dealing with that. We've worked too hard. We need to overcome this deal, and we need to get back to closing it up. Am I right? All right, cool. So they say, Andy, I appreciate everything you said, but we're going to need to get back with you. Real simple. Look, I'll get back with you. I've been doing this for a long time. And when someone says that they're going to get back with me, what that means is, honestly, I never see them again. Guys, is it that you're no longer interested in the deal? Or is it the fact that maybe you're just being polite and you don't want to reject me? No, Andy, we are interested in the deal. Awesome, guys. Then let's bottom line this deal right now. Is it the trade-in? And I may take the piece of paper and I'll say, is it the trade-in? Is it the price? Is it the payments? What part about the deal is it that you're not okay with? Guys, let's bottom line this deal right now. What is it? And guess what? Now I've moved past the fact that they're saying that they need to get back with me. Let me explain this to you, okay? I am great when it comes to negotiations and closing. I'm literally trying to pick off these little small sentences that I know that are being said every single day in a car dealership so that you can actually take the word track and tattoo it on your heart. And when it comes up, you know exactly what to say. And by the way, if you don't like 100% of this, still 70% of it. But I'm gonna tell you this, when I made 700 grand a year selling cars, this was the same exact word track that I used. And I'll move out of the way for a second so you guys can see this. Stop your video, snap it, and write that down. Watch this video over and over again. This is exactly how I close people with the simple maneuver when a customer is trying to get out of the dealership 
there's something wrong, they're not surfacing what it is, and they're using I'll get back with you as camouflage. Guys, learn this stuff, learn the word track, and have a great day. Hey guys, number one, thank you so much for watching the entire video. You guys are awesome, I'm grateful for you. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have my training program, so I thank you, I thank you, and I thank you. Um, I got three things for you real quick. Number one, shoot me a text message. If I haven't met you, I would love to. My phone number is 918. 210-0254, shoot me a text, I'd love to meet you. Secondly, go to Facebook, join Andy Elliott Car Sales Nation. That's Andy Elliott Car Sales Nation, one of the best Facebook groups in the world, hands down, for automotive sales training. And then lastly, I've got over 500 videos on YouTube, guys. Keep up the training, keep watching the videos, and crush it.